Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know we just did an update yesterday uh, for what was gonna be happening in Tarkov, but guess what? We got more news today and we got a ton of it. Not only did we get a patch announcement, we got another Nikki leak, a kind of cool looking container, and we have a Tarkov TV tomorrow as well. So let's get into it. Let's get all the details and get you guys up to speed as best as we can. Okay, so first things first, um, Nikita tweeted out this picture of a new fancy Kappa. I'm not entirely entirely sure and why it won't zoom in it doesn't whatever um i'm not entirely sure what this is uh best guess is this is just the unheard account version of kappa you get a special kappa on unheard uh it could also be a quest reward does it change the kappa does it make things any different i don't know we just got this picture it's kind of cool looking if you've got unheard uh you're probably gonna end up with it but we'll just have to kind of wait and see so tomorrow we have the uh, next Tarkov TV that we're, we've got. First one we've gotten in a little while. This one, this, if you don't know what these are, these are BSG gets on Twitch, a live stream. It's Nikita, a couple of the guys from the staff. Uh, they answer questions. They talk about what they're planning on doing, what they've got completed. Give us a little bit of heads up on some stuff. Give us some leaks, maybe answer some questions. Uh, pretty suspicious, suspicious might be the wrong word. Expecting that we're gonna get something related with the Halloween event inside of this. Um, we'll get into that in a sec, but this starts at 8.30 a.m. Uh, West Coast time in the United States, which is 11.30 a.m. Eastern, then 3.30 p.m. in London, and 2.30 a.m. on the 1st of September in uh, Sydney, Australia. And keep mind of those times. They're super important because they tie into the patch that we are also getting tonight, which let's talk about that next. Um, patch 15.5, huge patch. I'll get into the details after this real quick. Uh, the servers are gonna go down tonight. Um, so technically the 31st, I guess, unless you're Los Angeles, which is technically the 30th. Is that how that works? No, it's the 31st. Anyways, midnight in West Coast. Uh, tonight servers go down, which is, what is it again? That's 3 a.m. East Coast time, 7 a.m. In, in London, and then 6 p.m. in Australia, Sydney, Australia uh, on the 31st. Servers are going to go down. They're going to go down for eight hours, according to BSG. But the interesting thing about that is, is that means that these things are going to be overlapped with Tarkov TV. So technically the servers are going to come back up and go live a half hour before Tarkov TV starts. I know everybody's like, well, oh, BSG is always late. And yeah, they have actually been late the last couple of times. Their, their server times have been extended, but I think that's why they have eight hours in here is that my guess is, is because they've got a timetable set and maybe I'm just being optimistic about it that they, they've left themselves some room in here to get things working. Like they're only expecting the six, six hour downtime, but they gave them the eight hours so that they can turn the servers. Everything's ready to go and they can turn the servers on a half hour before the Tarkov type TV. And that's why I think this is super important. They're linked together. Um, we're probably gonna get something in game right as soon as Tarkov TV goes or something inside of Tarkov TV. I will be online, we'll be, we'll be streaming. Um, if you can't have Twitch, I'll be restreaming the, the Tarkov TV on YouTube so you can watch it there live stream if you want or watch the VOD later, uh, watching all of it and going through it. Now, as far as patch notes for specifically patch 15.5, we don't have them yet. BSG doesn't put them out till they take the servers down. I hate it. I wish they would do them sooner because it means I have to be up at like one in the morning just to see the patch notes and see if what I need to do. Um, and if there's what we're gonna plan for for the next morning. Uh, yeah, I know I'm whining about stuff, but I'm with you, I'm with you. I wish they would just give us patch notes um, earlier, so we actually had something to talk about today other than patch 15.5. And we can talk about it a little bit because we do have the roadmap, which let me bring this over. Um, click the wrong button. So 15.5, um, I mentioned this in yesterday's video that <sighs> probably 15.4 and 15.5 are gonna be merged. I say probably, I'm assuming 15.4 and 15.5 are gonna be merged. Um, if they're doing all of this work and their, their internal roadmap said that they were gonna have Unity done, and then they're gonna do patch 15.5, all of this stuff would have been done on the dev side with Unity 2022. Maybe there's a way to make it work. I'm not a Unity dev, um, but based on what I've heard from folks and talking with folks, that's not how it works. You can't just do a patch and then have it work in Unity 2019 and 2022. It just ain't gonna work that way. So hopefully Copium, Hopium, whatever you wanna call it, that 15.5 is gonna have Unity in it just because that makes sense to me. Now that doesn't mean I'm expecting Unity to change the game. That's not what I'm saying. It's just, it's out of the way. People have been bitching about Unity for years now at this point. Um, and rightfully so, BSG's kind of been promising it to us for 
God, I don't remember. Two years? Has we been two years since they started talking about a Unity update? And then it went, they were going to give us 2023 Unity, and then they dialed it back to 2022. And I'm almost glad I don't understand the details about this because it would probably just make me more mad. But patch 15.5, what we do have on the roadmap is we've got the stash hideout interaction while matching. So this means when you're trying to load into a raid and you're matching and you're looking for somebody, you can screw around in your stash. You can maybe do your move your kit around, though I doubt that. We'll have to see what the mechanics are like. But nonetheless, you'll be able to load into a match mess around with your crafts, maybe buy stuff on the flea market while you're waiting to uh, uh, join with people. Um, we're also gonna get the ability to lock items and stash. And if you're wondering what that means, um, essentially you could come up here, what I believe, because this is what they talked about. This has been something Nikita's promised us for like three or four years now. It's been forever. Um, maybe not four, but three years, basically when they added the auto sort. Um, you'll be able to like come in here and click lock and lock the position of your case so that I could lock all of these cases up here. I could lock all of this stuff down here. And then you press auto sort and it sorts everything. And the degree of how helpful that is is gonna vary for person to person. So some people are super stoked about it. Some people don't give a shit. Something just that we get to get. Um, expansions to new mechanics added in 15.0. So to me, the way I read this is it's gonna be stuff to do with either mounting or bipods, uh, as well as tripwires, and then maybe marathon mode or you know the tra the transit system all that kind of stuff is got more things that could potentially happen bipods simply put they're they i don't want to say they suck but they're really limited you gotta be on super flat ground they kind of lock you in position you can't look down very far you can't put them on all sorts of guns and this is this is going to turn into a little bit of a rant here but it, oh god this this actually pisses me off so much why 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 can't I put an Atlas bipod on a AXMC or most of the M700 stocks? But I can put it on a Saiga. This is a Saiga handguard. Why the fuck can I put a bipod on a Saiga, but not an M700? At least most of the M700s. So hopefully that's what that is. Um, little rant over. That's part of what this expansion of new mechanics are, is they'll be adding more and more um, uh, weapon systems, attachments that you can move bipods on um also maybe possibly we even get to see an rpd suppressor i know a lot of guys that are doing um the rpd stuff uh right now know that like you're doing um test drive but the rpd does have a threaded barrel piece on here for a suppressor or muzzle brake of some kind and we did see in the chronicles of rigi they were using a suppressed rpd so maybe we get one for the RPD and maybe some more attachments because it would it would actually be kind of cool to have more attachments for this. I've actually enjoyed running the RPD. The optic sucks for test drive, but it's a, it's a cool gun. It's fun to run. I like it. Uh, after that, we get things like the, the typical plug stuff, technical improvements, sound engine improvements. Um, those are really broad sweeping, but they could be hugely important. Um, could we have a big step in sound improvement? Maybe. Um, I'm not holding my breath. I can hope though. I can be, I can be wishful. Um, technical improvements. Everybody knows the game's in a tough spot right now. It, whether it's bugs from not being able to do your tasks at Lightkeeper or the, the cultists out there killing you to uh, getting kicked out of raid when you're trying to do marathon, uh, the duping bugs, all sorts of really dumb shit that's in the, the game right now have really taken away from how fun this wipe is. I want to say good because it's subjective and fun is too, but everybody knows that the bugs and they seem to be getting worse. It seems like the game is kind of, it feels to me anyways, like the game's kind of coming apart at the seams and we've needed a patch, a bug fix patch, uh, a technical improvements patch for a while now. Um, so hopefully that we get some good stuff out of this. We'll just have to wait and see how much, how much bugs get fixed, how better it is, all that kind of stuff. Because honestly, there's more bugs than I can possibly list. I've, I have done... I can't even remember how many bug reports I've sent to BSG this wipe. It's more than I've done in a long time. Um, anyways, uh, also fall weather season. So what this means, I don't know. It could be super awesome. It could also be f terrible. Um, I like I just PTSD of the snow crunchy crunch. Could you imagine leaves crunchy crunch everywhere? I'm not really familiar with what fall is like in St. Petersburg. And I could have asked a couple of guys. I just didn't and hadn't thought about it. But fall. Um, thinning foliage which means you're going to be able to see people in trees you know stank rats not going to be able to hide like he normally does um things like that and we get ai behavior adjustments you're 
Does this mean we won't get shot through bushes anymore? Well, if there's no bushes because it's fall, then sure. Uh, does this mean they're going to make big improvements on PvE? Does we're going to get some of the PvP stuff that PvE has? I, I don't know, guys. I just don't know. Um, AI behavior adjustments, always a good thing. We'll see how it goes. Game client performance optimizations. Take that for what you will. Uh, weapon content. So uh, more guns, perhaps. Um, maybe that new eight five or M eighty A one round we saw yesterday um, that was leaked. Uh, that I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure that's what it is. Uh, I guess there's a chance it could be something else, but um, that's that's what that round is. Uh, things like that. Get some of that stuff. Uh, maybe some more firearms, more attachments. Like I said with the RPE thing. Um, and then in game events. Sounds like Halloween to me, right? So that's patch 15.5. And again, this is Unity 2022 update. Now, as of filming this, we haven't seen anything on Arena yet. We're still missing these Arena patches, uh, which we were told. Um, I talked to Dimitri, and he was he was hopeful. I mean, he didn't promise, but he was hopeful that we were going to see patch 2.2 for Arena like a couple of weeks after TwitchCon. Well, that's like, what was it, six weeks ago now? a long time and we haven't seen even that let alone bringing arena to 2.3 now after i do this video we could see bsg tweet out that they're going to take arena down as well which i would assume is going to mean this stuff is going to happen guessing um it might not this might be down the road this might flip again this is roadmaps i know people like to troll bsg and squawk about the roadmap and this that and the other these are ideas development doesn't work on hard dates it just doesn't um you can't put a hard date and meet that date without sacrificing something somewhere else usually. So if they if they want to get everything done that they have on their list, they're going to push dates. It's just how it is. You could not like that. I'm not going to say like, oh, no, you're stupid if you don't like that. That's fine. It, it is frustrating when you see stuff and it gets delayed, it gets delayed. Totally legitimate. Just when you see these roadmaps, don't think of them. There's a reason BSG doesn't put dates on them. Don't think of them as hard fixed dates. Even this thing of until the end of 2024, I'm starting to question if we're even going to get that. We might, and maybe we'll find out more tomorrow, but I'm not 100% expecting all of this anymore by the end of 2024, just because of what looks like they've had some hurdles getting some of the stuff implemented. So maybe they can blow through it all, but it's not generally how that works. Okay, so I've, I've rambled quite a bit. Uh, just had some information I want to share with you guys just based on questions I get from people. I hope this is helpful. hope it adds to you. We will... Um, I'm not going to do a patch notes review probably right away. I'm not just going to sit down and read the patch notes. For those of you that have been around the channel for a while, you know that I like to uh, look at the patch notes, have about a day with them to get through and figure out some of the stuff that's not in the patch notes or make sense of things that might not be really clear and then get you guys the best information usually the very next day there will be patch notes out there for if you guys want to see them pestily uh nice guy giga beef um those guys all and i'm that's not everybody i didn't name everybody it's impossible but everybody pretty much hops on and does these so you can get that really quick update if you want or just read the patch notes i'll throw a link somewhere so you guys i'll put a community post up or something about it um so you guys can see them but uh, we will do a full comprehensive review the very next day once we have all the information wrapped up and I can get you guys the best information along with any guides or anything necessary for the Halloween event, hopefully to make the process easier um, and more likely that you can finish whatever BSG throws at us. But that's it. I'll wrap her up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Helps me out a ton. Doesn't cost you anything. Uh, yeah, that's it. Wish you guys the best of luck in raids and we'll hopefully see you in Spooky Tarkov tomorrow.